Welcome to the Future.Bible podcast, where you'll hear profiles of individuals and Bible-inspired organizations making a difference in the digital world. In each episode, we'll bring you stories of innovation, advancement, and real-life change. Are you ready? Let's get to today's episode. I'm DJ Chuang, and I'm here with my co-host, Kenny Jank. How are you, Kenny? Hey, good to be with you again, DJ. Always having fun here on the interwebs with you. Well, today we have a very special guest, and he's going to share with us some real stories of real-life change. And he's coming to us from across the pond, as they say. Uh, he's in the United Kingdom, and he's with an organization called Mission Assist. He is the CEO, Daryl Richardson. Thank you for joining us today. Hello. Thanks for having me. It's, uh, it's such a joy to talk to you over there, and... Uh, to share the exciting things that God is doing. Well, one of our colleagues, Pat uh, Walker, met you at a recent conference, and she was uh, very excited about your enthusiasm with uh, the work that you're uh, doing there with Mission Assist. And in particular, we're going to talk about a Bible translation that uh, you and your organization and a whole team of volunteers put together called the Easy English Bible. So tell us about the history of how that Bible translation came about? Like, like many of the services that we really offer in this book, which is this, it came, the, the idea came initially from a, a missionary in Ghana who, in, in trying to help uh, pastors of churches and others, was conscious that they didn't have any Bible commentaries in their own language. And they couldn't access the English commentaries because the language was just too difficult. And so she contacted us and said, do you think you may be able to help with this? So we started to pray to see what God would have us to do. Uh, and from that, the, the notion of developing an easy English language that anybody who has English as a second, third, or fourth language could access so that we could convey biblical truth. The, the idea of the notion came about. Of course, that was just the start of a lot of hard work because easy English to translate is far from easy. But thankfully, God provided, as he always does, with some able linguists and theologians because we need the two side by side. We wanted the truth to be accessible, but we wanted it to be the truth. We didn't want to just translate to make it easy. We're conscious that this is Holy Scripture, and we wanted to ensure that it was saying what, what God originally intended. So we, we set to work. Uh, initially, uh, doing some commentaries, and also to go hand in hand with that, uh, sections of the scriptures. First of all, we just used to publish them in, in hard copies, uh, so the Gospels and, and other parts, and it was lovely to hear how they were used by international Bible groups. They could study the same passage together because they had it in easy English. And then around 2001 came the first steps that we wanted to make this freely available. So we started to put it on the website. The translation was far from completed, but we thought, let's get it out there as soon as we possibly can. Wow. And you guys work with an amazing group of partners, right? I know um, ABS is part of it, the Bible Society, yes. the Digital Bible Library. Um, OM USA and OM International, Wycliffe, that's right, um, that's right. United Bible Societies, um, uh, Voice of the Martyrs, and um, yeah. there's a whole slew of um, partners that you guys work with. Um, today, uh, how many how many people or how many countries are accessing this resource together to uh, find the Easy English translation of the Bible? Over the last year, there have been people from 230 countries all over the world 
to access the website. The Bible oh. apps have been downloaded in 129 countries, but that only started in January. <laughs> so it, it's uh, about 129 in, in half a year. That's amazing. Uh, one of the things that I love about this, and, 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 and maybe we should even back up a little bit, um, a lot of people don't know what the actual easy English translation is, that you're looking at, um, I guess, different levels of vocabulary, right? That there's a level A and level B, from my, my understanding. That's right. We, the, the Bible is translated in what we call level A which is a vocabulary of 1,200 words. That started off by looking at the most commonly used words. But then we had to start thinking about those who were the potential readers of this Bible. And so it meant that, for example, many countries only have few, if any, abstract nouns. So one of the things was remo we removed all abstract nouns. Mm -hmm. The other thing was to be consistent because some of our words uh, in English can have two or three different meanings. <laughs> yes. you know, for example, like fair can be, it's a fair day today, or that was a fair game, or whatever. So we had to ensure that we chose just one meaning because that would cause confusion if it meant one thing in one situation and another thing in another situation. We had to look at the clauses because sometimes in, in a sentence can be so long that you've forgotten about where it started <laughs> when you get to the end, especially if English is not your first language. So we had to set up rules like short sentences, short paragraphs, and just to ensure that everything went through logically so that people could follow it through. So it meant that very often we would use two or three short sentences rather than a, a long sentence. So th there was a lot of trying things out, testing things out, so we feel that we came up with uh, what we believe is meeting the need today. Now, what about sometimes uh, people are looking at the text on a device or a screen or even the app, you said, versus a paper book or the, you know, the old style Bible yeah. uh, that we have. Okay. Um, in your opinion, and there's, you know, some people say that, that we've lost so much of the story and the narrative by taking it off of paper and, and an actual physical environment. Um, your site has done tremendous things by using technology to further the word, to give greater access. Um, can you speak to that a little bit and, and talk about maybe some of the things that you might gain or the other side, the upside of using technology to um, you know, marry that with the Bible? Yeah, there are, there are several things. Uh, I think, first of all, our concern is for people to learn about Jesus as them developing their Christian faith. And the Great Commission is to all nations. And the beauty of technology is that now we're able to reach people that we could never have thought of sending a boatload of books over to or, or anything like that. And like our commentaries, they use the 2,800 uh, word version of Easy English. And, and so, there, there again, our desire was to get this out there so people could study and, and people could read. And what we have found, it, it, which has surprised us a little bit, is the number of people who use it as their daily devotional. Wow. Because you know, now uh, tablets and iPads, you can carry them around here, there, uh, and everywhere. And, uh, <coughs> It, it, it just means uh, that people just love that that access and, and, and the joy of, of all they could do. You know, like with the um, with the apps, what we do have is 
some licks so that you could press on a word and get information about a town or uh, what, where the the context of the story is. Well, you can't put things like that in a book without distracting from the, the scriptures themselves. But then, uh, on the other hand, I still feel there is a place for hard copies. It, it is good, I think, sometimes to be able to hold something and, uh, and sometimes, you know, to be able to reread several times, underline, highlight, and all the other things. But the wonderful thing is, I believe the technology that we have today is part of God's plan and God's purpose for it to help us to fulfill the Great Commission. But we're not saying it's one or the other. It's what yes. is the most appropriate for this time and for the people that we want to reach. Absolutely. And of course, the other thing is, one thing that did concern me was that I was meeting with people who had spent years and years and years translating the scriptures into a language. And the books were piling up. Nobody was getting them. Nobody. <laughs> so it, the translation's the first part, but we want people to read them. Uh, and, uh, we, we are so proud to have you as a ministry partner with us uh, on the Dot Bible top level domain. Yeah. And uh, your website is at easyenglish.bible. And you took yeah. the time to switch that over from a previous uh, website. Right. Address. And um, ha have you noticed uh, some of the real life change that has happened uh, since that time? Yeah. Can you share a story I, or two I, I about think, that? Yeah, I, I think. One thing I would say is how much we value our partners. I think, again, going back to the Great Commission, to get this job done, we need each other. And we've got to work together. As I, I, I love that passage of the scripture where the, the, they're out at the sea, that their nets were breaking, and it says they called to their partners to come and help them. Uh, and I thank God, it, it, it's a privilege to work with other people who have a heart like we have and a desire that we have. Because together, together, we're going to achieve far more for God than ever we would uh, uh, on our own. I, I don't believe in just sitting in my small corner. I, I want to, uh, and permission insist, to support and help others do far more that they might have done uh, on their own. Uh, and those that were mentioned before, uh, it's, it's, it's such a joy. And uh, as far as, as the dot .bible uh, domain name, that for us has been brilliant uh, for a number of reasons. One is now when people come, they can see it's the Bible. <laughs> it, what the dot .bible has done, has given as well that authenticity that this is real scripture, that it, mm. it's not something uh, that detracts from scripture. Uh, this is the truth. Uh, and that's so valuable to us because that is something that's recognized uh, across the world and, uh, you know, by churches, by ministers. Uh, and that it, it's, it's so valuable. Uh, and, you know, we were so, so appreciative when we discovered that our application had been successful and that we could stand alongside, you know, the other dot Bible uh, so that where we're praying for ourselves, we're praying for you, and we're praying uh, for, others, uh, for others too. Uh, and so it has. It, it, it's helped us reach more. It's... Um, it, it's it's given us an even wider audience, perhaps, <laughs> than, than we had before, if oh, that's wonderful. possible. Well, you you, uh, you just sound so excited. You're coming through the camera, and it's shaking, and we're hearing the noise. So we're, we're celebrating with you. So, uh, can, can you go ahead and share with us a story of real-life change? Because I know uh, behind the technology and as we're connecting people with God's Word, yeah. It really changes individual yeah, well, lives. One of, the, yeah, one of the things that we do have is we do invite people to email in with questions and so forth. And 
it, it is it is so encouraging, but it just means as well that we can follow situations up because I've discovered that sometimes people in countries that I never knew existed and I had to get my atlas out or Google out of hand, where is that country? And you find a small island uh, and so forth. And, uh, we, we do like you know, to keep in touch where possible. But what that has meant is that we get all this feedback. Um, I'm so grateful to have found this site. It is absolutely amazing. I've started reading the Bible daily. And, <laughs> you know, this is so great because this is the best site with the best commentaries, and I just say, say thank you. Um, the, the, the person, uh, uh, a young lady with mild mental retardation, uh, and one thing about the East English Bible is it has helped a lot of people with special needs. Uh, and I thank God, because everyone is precious in the sight of God. Everyone has value. Everyone has a part to play. Uh, and it's so lovely when you hear situations like this. This person said, I've struggled all my life with understanding uh, written material. And recently, I gave up on the Bible completely. And I gave up on the Christian religion as well. But then I did a search, easy to understand, on uh, Bible on Google, found your website. And then I started reading a few paragraphs at Genesis. Now, I wouldn't always recommend Genesis the best place to start, but it worked for them. I completely understood what was written. It was amazing. It was written in simple English. I started crying tears for joy, just what I needed. Thank you so much for making this uh, available. Someone, uh, I looked online for the meaning of Psalm 51. Thank you that God used you to really help me understand this truth. I would pray it, believing that God can renew a person's heart and mind. But the way you explained it has brought more hope and more love for my Heavenly Father, knowing him more in depth and how great his love is, is for me. And I could... I could go on and on and on, <laughs> uh, but it, you know, it, okay, it helps we'll one more. We'll do one more. <laughs> one more, right? Let, let, let me uh, let, let me do uh, let me do that. It, it's uh, it, you know, every year at, at our conference, we get people to share these. This website, this came from Ghana. This website, an easy English has an impact in my life today. It will help me in reading, understanding, and digesting a biblical verse in the Bible. It has helped me understand the Bible under a simple, easy English, one that is easy to understand. Someone from Singapore is using our easy English Bible day by day as they're following through their um, daily Bible readings. Switzerland, today I happened upon your invaluable site. Praise God. It, it's just, it, it's just so thrilling, so thrilling. Well, that, that's uh, more than one, people. but we're thrilled with you. <laughs> yeah, and people coming to know the Lord. And, and it, it, it's, uh, you know, the come back with questions. Please tell me more about Jesus. How can I find out more? Uh, and it's, it, 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 it just, you know, I, and I can quite believe that some of these people would not have been reached any other way. Mm. But this was God's plan and purpose. Real life change on the internet. Um, this is just fantastic to see something in action that it's not just a hypothesis. You've got millions of visitors from over 200 countries doing this actively yeah. on a dot .bible website. Um, uh, yeah. Just kudos to you and your team, Daryl for making such a wonderful and accessible resource. Well, uh, uh, thank you all too, uh, as I say, for partnering with us. And uh, it was a joy to meet your colleague uh, in Athens. Uh, and I trust that this uh, partnership will continue. And 
that God will, will use you in such a, a wonderful way in these valuable days. Well, now, as we close out, we'd like to ask a question. What do you see for the future of the Bible? Because we are future.bible. <laughs> What's the, yes. I, I, I think the, the lovely thing about the Bible is when people turn to it and, and, and it's explained to them, that they say that, yes, it, it has the truth about God. In the Bible, God is, is revealed to us. Uh, and the, the truth about the person and work of Jesus Christ. But the lovely thing is, it, it has advice on every part of our lives. We could truly live by the Bible. And all that we need, I think, with the, the help of the Holy Spirit, it is there for us. And in this day and in this age, people need truth. They receive so many lies from politicians, and uh, I'm including those on this side of the pond <laughs> as much as any. They're thinking, who can they trust? And the wonderful thing about the Bible, it is God's word. It can be trusted. The word of God is real. And the wonderful thing is it works. As we apply the truth of God in our lives, it works. Uh, and the, the more and more we get the truth out there, uh, you know, we'll keep developing the apps, we'll, we'll, we'll keep developing the commentaries, we'll keep developing other resources, uh, because I, I'm especially concerned about new churches in certain countries where the leaders have not been able to access training, uh, and I would like to do something, because the Bible needs to be explained. It needs to be opened up. It needs to be understood. But this could make a powerful difference in everybody's life. Somebody said to me the other day, I didn't realize the Bible had so much to say about money. And, uh, it, it, you know, where we look to mention money over here. <laughs> but uh, that, it, it, it's everything. This is, is a pathway that we can take, uh, not just in our relationship with God, but enjoying life in all its fullness, which is what God intended for us. Well said, well said. Well, Daryl, uh, if someone today that was listening in or watching our conversation would love to get in touch with you directly with easyenglish.bible, what's the best yeah. way for them to do that? Could you share a way that they can contact you directly? Yes, uh, we we are thankful because we do have a number of our volunteers who are in the States, and uh, we uh, we thank God for every one of them. They, perhaps the two ways are, if people want to contact me, they just send an email to ceo at missionassist, one word, dot org. They can also look up the Mission Assist website, uh, and that has details. Or why don't they look at easyenglish.bible? Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you again so much for taking this time uh, to sit down with us across the ponds in um, Europe as we sit here on the east and west coast. I just love the internet being able to do this together. Yeah. Uh, friends, if you've been listening in today, thank you so much for listening to the Future.Bible podcast, the number one audio production show for people who want to learn more about what is possible when we dream together of putting together the technology and Bible and bring engagement to the next level. Thank you so much for listening. Remember, there's free resources, transcripts of our shows, and other episodes available at www dot future dot bible and if you love this episode in particular please head over to itunes to subscribe rate and leave a review it's much much appreciated dj thank you for uh, co-hosting today just love uh, meeting new people on our journey here together at future dot bible thank you kenny and thank you daryl blessing to you thank you for joining us today if you enjoyed today's session, please help us share this podcast with your friends, colleagues, and family members. You can do that by leaving a review on iTunes or by sharing our website, www.future.bible, with your network. Don't forget to join us next week for the next episode of the Future.Bible podcast. Future.Bible.